All right, let's talk about this weather, this random warm day in December. <laughs> yeah, what happened? We had coats on before. Yeah. I know. The scarves on Saturday night. And yeah. Blame it on the south wind. It's all about the wind. The wind shifted to the south, warm, moist air moved in. That's going to help us with our fog. Yeah. But we're very concerned because the full cold moon is tomorrow oh at 6.05. And what if we can't see it? I mean, <laughs> what that, do we do? Well, <laughs> you wait till next month. <laughs> All right, so here is a look at what's happening. We've got a great shot of the moon, not quite full, almost. Look up tonight because this may be as good as it gets. And it's looking great from Robin McKenzie, 97% full. And then from Nola Spice Designs, isn't that pretty? You can see how the clouds are moving in. The Geminid Meteor shower is also taking place. That's going to be Wednesday morning, likely to have some clouds as well. Best viewing then is two o'clock in the morning. So a look at what's happening. That cold front that was kind of close now moving back to the north as a warm front. We've got a south wind and obviously we've got rain all the way from Lake Charles to Baton Rouge and then into the north shore. The cold air is up here. It's moving to the south. It's going to collide with that warm moist air from the Gulf and we've got snow up across the Midwest. So what's going to happen here? Well, we've got our rain chances going up. Right now, not much on the south shore. In fact, nothing. It's all over here, Lafayette to Baton Rouge, and in fact, now some thunderstorm activity. A little bit of rain moving into Tangipaho Parish again, right there at Hammond, extending up towards the Mead City. We've had some rain move through Bogalusa again, Varnado again, heading over towards Lumberton and Poplarville. South Mississippi, not much going on. It's all up here by Wiggins. And on the south shore, really not seeing much, though there have been a couple of showers. So as we look at that forecast, sure, you've got the potential for some showers overnight. But the big deal is we're going to have fog developing in the morning. Then here we are at about 11 o'clock or so. We've got more rain developing as the front is now beginning to push to the south. Three in the afternoon. Right now it's not looking pretty in Slidell. Picking up the kids, it could be an issue. You may want to get there early. And then all across the North Shore. It's kind of scattered activity as we go into the evening. South Mississippi getting pounded over the lake. You've got rain and then it's moving into the metro. So could be a little bit later for the South Shore with scattered activity earlier. Here is a look at the big picture and notice how that front just doesn't make any progress, which is why still warm tomorrow. High temperatures in the upper 70s. Then it gets that surge to the south cold front moves through a little bit cooler for Wednesday mid 60s and it's Thursday that you're going to notice is going to be cooler. It's going to be breezy. High pressure is building in sunny skies. It looks like a nice day, but then your clouds increase on Friday after a cold start warm and windy for Saturday with a chance of rain developing and then Sunday is looking like the rain day, especially in the morning. The high today 82. We tied a record high temperature all across the area area upper 70s to the low 80s. Blue skies early with a bald eagle. That's from Anthony Pollard and beautiful on the bayou from Bayou Mama. Thank you so much. Look at these temperatures right now and real quickly, of course, a lot warmer than it has been because of that south wind. There you can see fog is already beginning to develop. So tomorrow fog in the morning and the afternoon mid to the upper 70s. Wednesday slight chance of rain. That's going to be early mid 60s cooler for your Thursday. Friday is cold in the morning and over the weekend your rain chance is going up, especially Sunday.